This video assumes that you have already installed your Road Angel Halo software. Today I'm going to show you how your Road Angel Drive Recorder software functions. First of all, you will need to take your micro SD card and put it into your card reader. You then need to place your card reader into the USB port of your computer. Once you have done this, the full list of all your files will appear on the right hand side of the screen. Simply select a file and press play to view the output from the front and rear cameras of your Road Angel Halo. For the purposes of this video, I have immediately paused the playback so that I may show you around the features that your software has to offer. First of all, we have the setup button. This will open a dialog box to show you the Road Angel configuration settings. The most important setting on this screen is the time zone. If you do not get the time zone correct, then it is possible that your insurance company may not be able to use any footage that you capture. Other settings found here include if you would like to record sound on your unit, if you would like voice messages to be played, if you would like to use daylight savings time, if you would like your unit to beep, and which viewing angle you would prefer. It also allows you to set voltage settings and cutoff times. If you wish to change how storage is allotted on your SD card or the sensitivity of the acceleration sensor, you may do that here also. The next tab down is the memory information. Here you will see how the space on your micro SD card has been allotted between the different recording modes. You will also be able to format your card should you wish to do so. Lastly is the version information. Here you can view which firmware version your Road Angel Halo is using and also which version of Viewer Vision. Simply click the red X in the corner to close the dialog box. The next button is Capture. The Capture button will allow you to save whichever front and rear images you have stopped on. It will open a dialog box so that you can save them to a folder of your choice. It chooses a file name based on the time and date that they were captured. This is an example of an image caught by the rear camera when I was out driving today. As you can see, it allows you to view the make and model of the car as well as the number plate. The Graph button. This will open a dialog box entitled G-Graph. It shows the X, Y and Z axes of the car's movement. It won't mean a lot to most people, but it's very valuable for the insurance companies. The reversal button will flip the recording in the main viewing screen. It will not appear to do anything until you have also either pressed the second forward button or the play button. To flip the screen back to its original angle, just simply hit the reversal button again. The front rear view switch button will switch your front and rear camera images with each other meaning that you can view larger your footage taken from your rear view camera. Simply click the button again to switch the front footage back to the main viewing area once more. Another useful feature of the software is that you can show where the events took place. By simply clicking the view map button you can launch Google in a small window to view where the incident occurred. To get rid of the Google map window use the hide map button that is in the background. If you wish to view a larger map, you can also click View Wide Map. To get out of this dialog box, you will need to click on View Small Map and then Hide Map. The area currently indicated on the screen shows the different types of recording that may take place. Rec indicates the normal infinite style of recording that your Road Angel Halo captures. The other styles of recording are event recording, manual recording and motion recording. You can choose to view one or many or even all of these at the same time. Now we come to the main video navigation buttons. But before I get into what these do, I would like to introduce you to a few other parts of the screen. Firstly, at the very top of the screen is displayed the file that you are currently viewing. At the top of the main viewing area, it shows the date and the time whether the microphone was on or off, and the speed that the vehicle was travelling. This information is also replicated in the small sub-window. 
The viewing slider can be located below the main viewing pane. You can grab the marker with your mouse and pull it to a certain point in the video. Each video stored is a minute long. Below this is the speed slider. This allows you to speed up or slow down the rate at which you view your footage. On the right hand side is your volume control. And that brings us back to the buttons. The first button with pre written on it will take you to the previous file to the one you are currently viewing. The play button, as you would expect, will start your footage playing. When you have clicked this button this will change to a pause button. The stop button will stop your playback. The next button will move you on to the next minute of footage. The sec button with the arrows pointing to the left will take you to your previous second of footage. The sec buttons with the arrow pointing to the right will take you to your next second of footage. The FPS button will play your footage frame by frame. The open button will allow you to navigate to other files on your computer that you have previously recorded that you may wish to view again in the Road Angel Halo software.